Ace Floyd. Yeah. I'm here for your to help you release your anger. Yeah. I'm here to gift you. And I'm here to sing for you. To be completely transparent, there's been part of this I haven't enjoyed. If you notice the tone, some of you are already holding your breath, you can breathe. <laughs> Has the tone been forward or backwards? <laughs> Tone's been forward. Where's your power? Your power is in the center. Your power is in the center. See, if I need to convince you, or I need to argue you, or I need to out-anger you, I'm keeping you away from me when I really need to bring you in. Tommy John said, How's what we've been doing been working? See, it's possible to be in your power and still be strong. What we need is more certainty. And that certainty comes from within. See, you can't get your certainty from anything outside of yourself. You gain your certainty from within yourself. Who's got a purse? Give me a purse. <laughs> she gave me that second look. I know you, but I don't really know you. So I want you guys to see this. Everybody see this swing? This is what most of you have been doing. Getting caught in the pendulum of emotion. Using it as motivation. But guess what? Motivation don't last. One of our last speakers talked about, I believe she talked about, we talked about sexual abuse. I think it was Tommy that actually brought in uh, the porn issue. But some of you are addicted to trauma porn. Oh, you thought it was just something else, eh? Nah, you, you like seeing the train wrecks. You like seeing the confrontations. And that's why the algorithms just keep showing them to you. Because you're caught in the pendulum of emotion. You'll get caught in the pendulum of emotion, but you don't know self. So you look outside of yourself for something to give you some energy. Because when you're in the pendulum of emotion, you start to get burnt out. And you move in the group. And you move into group think. And now you're no longer thinking for yourself. So how do you pull yourself away from the pendulum of emotion and start to know who you really are? And why you're here? You can only do it from a centered place. Are you already noticing something different in this speech? Now, everybody has their place of how they're designed to show up, right? And I'm not saying non-action. We need massive action. But what we need is for you to know why you're taking it. See, it's just as easy to get caught in another pendulum of emotion or another paradigm and then start to follow that group think. Is it okay that I don't agree with some of the things that were said tonight? That's how I know I'm thinking for myself. I'm not here to be red, blue, I'm neither. See, if you need all of your sources of intelligence from one side, you've already lost control of your mind. 
What we're here for is for sovereignty. Sovereignty of your mind and sovereignty of your body because that's what makes you human. See, you're feeling it now. So let me sing to you. When my little girl was just learning to walk, this song came through. And throughout her life, she's only three, but throughout her uh, short life and big life in many ways, this song will come as a means of reminding her who she is, why she's here, and starting to relax the nerve system. Here's another thing most people don't know. If you're revved up, moving into sympathetic tone, you're losing the ability for critical thinking. There's a reason they're wanting to keep most people in fear. If you're in fear and you're afraid, you can't actually think. You start to shut off the prefrontal cortex. Right? And so that centeredness I've been talking about, it's not just front and back aggression or curled and scared. It's also lowering the vibration. Sympathetic stress is really high, high vibration. Oh, shit. Parasympathetic um, tone where we rest, where we digest, where we heal we drop it down. Does the world need more sympathetic stress right now? And some of you are having a hard time saying yes. Or no. The world doesn't need, <laughs> the world doesn't need more sympathetic stress. No. We all need to remember why we're here. We were all born out of a universal need, and discovering that need is our life's journey. I'm here to reconnect humanity, to heal, to live, and to evolve naturally. That's my main purpose, and all my values stem from that. And that's how I show up and take action every single day. If I asked you, what is your purpose? Do you have an answer for it? If you don't know your purpose, you don't know why you're here. And if you don't know why you're here, you don't know who you are. And if you don't know who you are, you're just swinging in the pendulum, unable to think for yourself. So let me sing to you. Bring your nervous system down just a little bit. My little girl's name is Willow Moon, so this is for her. Hey, little willow, you are beautiful and strong. Hey, little willow, you can stand on your own if you ever get lost. You are not alone, just look inside. And you'll find your way home. Hey, little willow, you are beautiful and strong. Hey, little willow, you can stand on your own if you ever get lost. You are not alone. Just look inside and you'll find your way. Mm. Come on. Dr. Stan mentioned I'm a father. I'm a, a father of a three-year-old and a six-year-old. Uh, Willow Moon and Jackson Atlas. And uh, there's some wisdom I want to share with you uh, that not many of you may know about. 
But when it comes to the indigenous people of these lands, they work with this principle that we live life in a way that honors the seven generations that came before us and builds and co-creates a life for the seven generations that will come ahead. Could you imagine if every single day, through your purpose, through your values, through your mission, you connected to that depth of beingness? We've talked about courage. Courage is fleeting when it's only connected to the small self, when it's only connected to your ego. See, the depth of your purpose is designed to connect at the level of the soul beyond you with others in mind. So when you're feeling like you can't go out and stand up or take action or be courageous or be in your power or be in your center, think about something beyond you. I look at my kids every freaking day and I know that. If the world turns into something that I don't want to live in, I can at the very least Say your dad did every fucking thing he had every single day to make sure that you would grow up in a place that was better than I found. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Are you going to be able to do the same? Where was that time where you could have said something? Where was that time that you could have spoke up? But most importantly, when was that time that you could have been more? Because life is less about what you do and more about who you be. See, when you step into a room, does the room start to shift? Does the consciousness start to shift? So I'm telling you right now, we need less anger and more connection, more love. You know how the world changes? Thank you. <laughs> you know how the world changes when you start being it? Simple. When you start being it. When I say new normal, So just so you, everybody heard it, they cringed, they said never, they said no. Because when they think new normal, already in their subconscious or conscious mind, they're already thinking something worse than. That's part of the problem. Every single person in this room, when you hear new normal, you should be thinking the bestest and dopest shit you've ever imagined in your fucking life. That's my new normal. That's what I live to create every single day when I wake up. A new normal that I want to live in. Where our kids are more connected than they've ever been. Where they have emotional intelligence. Where they learn to talk with one another and come to solutions instead of continually arguing with one another. Where we grow up connected more to our food systems and more into nature. Where we respect our elders. Where we respect people that think differently than us. Diversity is needed in the evolution. Diversity is needed in the evolution. Various points of view. And in order to get there, you need to think for yourself. Yes. 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 So I'm going to allow you to drop into a little breath and meditation with me. But before I do, I said I didn't want to gift you. So some of you may be liking me and some of you wish the next person would come up. I don't care either way. Because <laughs> guess who I am today? Me. And that's all I need to be. I don't need to be anything for you. There is a process that I go through every single day to know more of who I am and why I'm here. I start every single morning with movement, breath work, and meditation. 
This is what it is. I've been doing it for the last 10 years. Could you imagine if you spent every day in meditation and prayer and what that would mean to you in your life? Before connecting to your devices, before connecting with your phone and remembering who you were yesterday and all the shit that you were connected to the day before that. But that's the first thing most people do, right? They wake up. What's happening? Who can I be mad at now? <laughs> Told you, you're addicted. You're addicted. You got to break the addiction. You want to be able to see around and above and within all of it and not just be swinging, right? So I created a 37-minute master class on the three steps needed to break away from mental slavery. I give it to you for free. This is what you got to do. You got to text the number. So if you want it, take out your phone, and then we're going to end with a little meditation. I got three minutes left. So here's the number. The number is 678-506-7543. I'll say it one more time. 678-506-7543. And I'll do it one more time. Don't make me a liar, Judy. All right, 678 506 and you're going to text, I trust myself. One word. I trust myself. All right. Yeah, we're going to do this together. Okay. Huh? Can we hit send? Huh? Hit send. I trust myself. I trust myself. So everybody's going to sit up, sit up, nice and tall. Close your eyes. So right away, most of you are probably feeling the front of your forehead or something in front of your body. Because we've been living in a future. And we've been living in a future in anxiety and worry and fear and anger. It's all forward. We need to call that energy back into center. So I want you to think center of your head. I want you to think center of your spine, center of your tailbone. And I want you to take a five second inhale through your nose, inhale, and out your mouth for five. Thinking center, inhale. Exhale. Inhaling love and connection. Exhale, letting go of the fear and the anger. Inhale, feeling lighter. Exhale, clearing your system of the toxicity. Inhale, new, abundant, bright energy. Exhale, letting the toxic, poisonous thought forms let go. Just keeping that five second inhale, five second exhale, five second inhale, five second exhale, keep it going. And we're gonna to start to drop in some new ideas of new norm. So right now, in this continued breath, I want you to visualize the best future possible. Where are you? What's the status of being human? What's the health levels of being a human? What's the freedom? What does that feel like? So we can utilize feelings to bring things closer to us instead of always having to push towards them. What does that best future, what does it, what does it look like? What does it taste like? What does it smell like? See it, see it for self. And only when you can see it can we create it. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here with me.